What's up guys, Freezy here. I just came back from Chinese New Year and it has been a long time since my last Operation Siren guide, so let's do an update. We just got Yixian Retrofit and FDG Phase Simulation. Both are very powerful ships for Operation Siren, so now it is a pretty good time. In this video, I'm gonna share my own optimized Operation Siren fleet setup. I will include gear setup and the reasoning behind each ship choice. But to be honest, Operation Siren is fairly easy now, so even if you don't have the most optimal ships, it is completely fine. I optimize my fleet to be more streamlined so I don't have to switch gear around, and have a good fleet for every possible situation. So without further ado, let's get right into the fleet setup. So this is my fleet setup for Operation Siren. Fleet 1 is the general fleet that takes care of 99% of the fights in Operation Siren. The other 3 fleets are for bosses with 3 different types of armor. So let's start with the general fleet first. The general fleet takes care of nearly all mobs and elites in Operation Siren. In order to save time, we want to pump out the damage as quickly as possible to finish each fight. So obviously we have 2 preload carriers in the fleet. Perseus and Aquila needs no explanation, they are just the best preload carrier in the game. If you don't have preload carriers, it is totally fine, they just make farming faster. Ideally, you want to have a healer so Unicorn Ritual Fit works just as well as Perseus. Now let's talk a bit about FDG. Since battleships have a slowdown animation when firing, they are considerably slower than carriers in real time for farming. However, FDG does disgustingly high damage against Elite Sirens, and her face simulation kinda fixed her problem. She no longer loses firepower when taking too much damage. So her main job here is to kill weaker Siren bosses, like the ones guarding Siren Stronghold. If you have a plus 13 Rainbow Gun on her, she can easily deal 5 digit damage without any buffs. She is just the most consistent at killing Siren Elites, so you don't have to switch fleet at all besides the Abyssal bosses or the Arbiter bosses. So overall FDG is just amazing for lazy commander like me. Just put on auto exploration and FDG will clear all the maps with ease. Another huge boost we got in the recent update is Yixian Retrofit. After the Retrofit, she no longer needs Ninghai or Pinghai to be tanky. Any Chinese ship will trigger her first skill, and she buffs other Chinese ships' damage while doing okay damage herself. Yixian Retrofit is ridiculously tanky, her survivability in most cases is better than a gear, and we just happen to have two super strong Chinese vanguards that needs a main tank to complete the vanguard. Anshan Retrofit has ridiculous DPS against light armor, while Harbin does excellent damage versus heavy armor, and has delayed preload torpedo for fast farming. So the Chinese Vanguard is just insanely good right now. They got good damage versus all armor types, can pump out damage very fast, and is tanky enough to survive nearly all encounters in Operation Siren. They are just perfect for this fleet. So overall, this general fleet has good farming speed, can easily kill elites and bosses without the need to switch gear, and most enemies in Operation Siren won't even be able to damage them due to how fast they kill their enemies. But again, mobs in Operation Siren are pretty easy, so if you don't have the most optimal ships for this one, it is totally okay. I just find this fleet to be the most efficient. Oh yeah, and because this fleet uses a lot of unique gear, it reduces gear swapping by a lot. I really don't like swapping gear around for different ships, so that is a pretty big plus. The other 3 fleets are pretty simple, they are boss fleets against different armor types. I optimize them for less gear swapping, and usually one of these 3 fleets will fight the meta boss, so it is definitely more efficient to keep some gear presets for these fleets. Now fleet 2 is the battleship fleet. This fleet usually fights medium and heavy armor bosses, which is the most common boss type. But they can also fight light armor if we swap triple HE gun on them. We just have 3 of the best ultra rare battleships with vanguard ships that buffs them. Aegir and Polymouth are 2 OP ships that provides armor break, slow and damage boost while being very very tanky. 
The middle position I use Helena meta because normal Helena is used very often in meta fights. She needs to swap gear often, while Helena meta performs better in Operation Siren, and has a rather fixed loadout. This fleet has no particular synergy, it's just the best ships put together so you can replace any ship with whatever you got. The idea is just using your best battleships with triple AP guns to kill medium or heavy armor bosses. Fleet 3 is the carrier fleet for heavy armor. In this category, no other ships comes close to the ultra rare IJN carriers. So if you don't have these two ships, you can completely ignore the carrier fleet and just use the battleship fleet for heavy armor. Because many Operation Siren bosses like to move around, having Arc Royal for the slow here is very good. Since Shinano needs 3 IJN ships for her skill, we need one more IJN in the Vanguard. Kazagumo here is the best choice. You can also run Azuma as the main tank. Kronstadt is my preferred choice here due to her skill free reducing spread for battleships in other fleets, and her crossbleed barrage slows, which all three boss fleets runs on a 20 second timer, and the slow does make a difference. For the last slot, I use Shimakaze because her damage against heavy armor is insane. The final fleet is a new addition. The old light armor battleship fleet got power creeped by the Yorktown 2 carrier fleet. The main advantage for this fleet is that after phase simulation, AVP is just the best slow in the game. She makes fighting light armor bosses very consistent. The plus 8 firefly on AVP is for speed adjusting. The timing for this fleet is very tight, so you might need to do your own speed adjusting if you are using a different loadout. Yorktown 2 is just a beast when fighting light armor. She can easily do more than half a million damage, so she is the main carry here. The last slot is another Eagle Carrier. I like Enterprise more, so I used her, but overall, Hornet 2 is more consistent. Another plus for this fleet is that New Jersey from Fleet 2 provides a pretty big bonus to Eagle Carriers, which boosts Yorktown 2 into pretty ridiculous territory. For Vanguard, Anchorage is highly recommended as we need another Eagle Union ship for your Count 2 skill. Aurora and Sirius are what makes this fleet great. Nearly all the light armor bosses in Operation Siren have very very high evasion. So not using these two will cause the fleet to do significantly less damage. If you don't have this fleet set up, just switch to HE gun on the battleship fleet will also do the job. But this fleet is far more consistent at killing light armor bosses like the monthly boss for this month.